tranexamic acid so here you're seeing the tablets tranexamic acid so it is going to stop the bleeding it's going to reduce the menstrual bleeding by 50 percent because it will promote clotting of blood okay so it is an antifibrinolytic so the fibrinolysis doesn't act occur so fibrin will be there so blood clot blood will clot so the endometrial fibrinolysis is stopped so where will you use it whenever there is excess bleeding right like AUV abnormal uterine bleeding dysfunctional uterine bleeding this is a short term relief very good application of this is in IUCD induced menorrhagia and in postpartum hemorrhage okay after the delivery of the baby you can also try this tranexamic acid IV so here you are seeing the IV so this is not a first line drug okay this is an, uh, used only second line so uh, where you should use it and where you should not use it see it has some gastrointestinal side effects but its actual contraindication is if there is a thromboembolism history in this person that means blood clots in this person there is some history of embolism thromboembolism in these people you should not give tranexamic acid because it will cause what it will cause clotting of blood right what are the other ma uh, options you have for DUB? The first line actually is mefenamic acid, that's a prostaglandin, and you saw a lot of other options. Then coming to PPH, you will give IV, we told you. What are the other options for PPH? For PPH, you can give oxytocin, mesoprostol, methargin, carboprost, etc. And tranexamic acid is only, uh, like we told you, second line kind of a drug. Basically, what will it do? It will stop bleeding.